Texas building a super offense for 2025. So DeCorion Moore decommits from LSU. He is the number one wide receiver recruit in next year's class. He is the third best player, according to 247 Sports. In my opinion, I think they do the best job. On3 does a very good job as well. I completely ignore ESPN's rankings. I think they're terrible. Um, but overall, Texas could be building something really special, guys, with the recruiting class they're building um, for next year. DeCorian Moore, like I said, the number one ranked guy. Uh, you also have Jamie French, who right now is crystal ball to Ohio State, but he's in the mix here for Texas. And then Kalik Lockett is another guy that's really high up on the list for Texas. Those are four guys in the top 30 recruits nationally. Those are three out of the four best wide receivers in the country. And I all believe, and I believe Texas is going to be there for down to the bottom five or top five for all these guys. I think Corian Moore has been crystal ball by three different people to Texas. I would be shocked at this point if he doesn't go to Texas. Like I said, the number one recruit in the country. His comp is Chris Olave, so that's something that Steve Sarkeesian would love to have, a smaller guy but a great run route runner, great agility, um, something we haven't had here on the 40 Acres in a long time. He would also be the highest-rated recruit Texas has got at the wide receiver position. In over a decade, the last guy that we got that was this highly rated was Mike Davis, who – Turned out to be a good player, but he was never a great player for Texas. I don't even think he made the NFL. Overall, kind of a disappointment uh, Mike Davis was, but he is the highest-rated recruit in the history of Texas football. If DeCorian Moore does commit to Texas and play for Texas, he'll be the highest, second-highest-rated recruit ever. That's ahead of someone like Roy Williams, who probably is regarded – I shouldn't say probably – is regarded as the best wide receiver in the history of Texas football. Um, and then – I believe all three of these guys actually might be ranked in Jamie French, Khalil Lockett, Corey and Moore, if they all come here, would be the highest ranked guy behind um, Mike Davis. Now, they might be in there with Roy Williams, but they'd be three of the top five ever, which is crazy to say. Jamie French right now is committed. He's from Florida. He is committed to Ohio State, crystal ball to Ohio State. I think Texas, honestly, right now has been running in second place for him. I think he's pretty firm on his Ohio State commitment. Um, we'll see if we can flip him. Another guy that, honestly, out of the three, I'm going to mention, DeCorian Moore, Jamie French, and Kalik Lockett. I think he's probably the least athletic out of the three. I think DeCorian Moore is probably the second, uh, Jamie French being the least. But still would be a nice get. Six, uh, one, 175, or sorry, six foot, 175. They're all around the same height, 5'11 to six, one, And I think it'd just help out speed-wise, route-running-wise, be a great addition. I think he is the least likely to commit to Texas. I think DeCorian Moore being the most likely. This guy up, in my opinion, is the second most likely in Kalik Lockett. This guy is a freak, guys. A freak. Absurd combine testing numbers. Great track and field athlete. Six foot seven inch wingspan, and he's only six foot one. He can go up and get the ball. He can run away from people. In my opinion, I think he might be the most talented of the group. I think Texas has got to get him. He's the second highest rated wide receiver in the country behind the Corian Moore. And I think he's special. I think to me, would not shock me by the end of the year if he's number one with his senior season coming up. I think he's a freak. Someone that can run like that and jump like that is very rare. Those guys are usually are you usually don't come along very often. And usually it's one or the other. Usually you have a jump ball guy or you have a track guy. This guy is both. He can do both. He is a special, special player. If Texas can land two out of three of these guys, and then you have Jonte Cook coming back, Ryan Wingo will be here. Unless Matthew Golden has a great year, he'll uh, like a really good year, like first or second round type pick, I think he'll be back. Silas Bolden will probably be back. This can be a special, special room with Arch Manning coming in at quarterback. Are you kidding me? This is the type of offense – that Alabama had a couple years ago under Steve Sarkeesian when he was the offensive coordinator, where you had a great quarterback. You're going four to six, like real depth wise at wide receiver, where these guys will play in the NFL. That's what we're almost building here. If you can get two out of three of these guys, if we get three out of three, I think we've overtaken Ohio State in recent years of deepest wide receiver room. If we get all three, I think two, it's still a debate, but three for sure. This would be a special offense. This would be a special class. It's something us Texas fans were looking forward to when we hired Sark to get a class like this. I cannot wait. It'll be awesome. It's going to be a very awesome summer. There's a real chance Texas could be competing for not just a great offense recruiting class-wise, but overall the best class 
going for the 2025 cycle. So very exciting times for Texas, especially at that wide receiver room with Decorian Moore, Jamie French, and Kalik Lockett. I think we get two out of three. I really believe that. I think Decorian Moore is going to end up at Texas. I would say Kalik Lockett is probably the guy behind him. Jamie French right now, he's that guy that you see in the rear view mirror. He's not, the, he isn't caught up to us. He's not riding right next to us. You can't look over at him. He's back there. I'm hoping he can catch up, get with the um, program and come to Texas. We'll see what happens. But I think the Corian Moore is going to end up here. And I think Khalil Lockett is 50 50. I think Jamie French right now is 10 to 15% chance. I think Ohio State really wants him to continue that tradition of great wide receivers because honestly, they don't really have anyone in this realm right now if he decommits so it'd be very interesting i think they pay a lot of money to keep him but right now i think there's a good chance texas lands two out of three of them um jimmy french is the best wide receiver in class of 2025 that's your opinion and you can definitely have that